Okay, so in the first two parts of our discussion, I gave you a clear working definition for what the next level is and how the next level works. And so in this third part of this discussion, I want to build on this foundation, assuming that you've allowed God to take whatever it is that you've been going through in your past leading up to now, assuming that you've allowed God to use that as your process and preparation for elevation, your process and preparation for him to use it as an elevator to literally elevate you to your next level. So assuming that you've allowed God to do it, just in case you haven't, I want you to just look back over your life, see all the situations and circumstances that you've been going through and just allow God to use it for his glory. Whatever it is that you've gone through, he wants to work together for your good, but he wants to use it as a part of your process for preparation of elevation. He wants to literally use it as an elevator because the floor of your life that you're on right now, he wants to bring you above that and to this place that he's already predestined for you. So assuming that you have now gained access You've gained entrance. You have been welcomed to this place called the next level. What's most important for you to do? I'm getting ready to give it to you. You might want to write this down or revisit this video because now that you have access, now that you have introduction, now that you've been welcomed to this place called the next level, nobody can know but you. There's something in your spirit, something in your soul, something in your body, something in your God conscience, your self-conscious, and even in your world conscience that's giving you the indication you ain't where you used to be. And if you ain't where you used to be, we're going to define that as the next level. You done made it to the next level. So now that you have access to this place, to this space that you have not just come to, but to this space that you now flow from called the next level. Now you have to build your practice. Don't miss this around your philosophy. You've got to build your practice around your philosophy. That means you got to take your beliefs, what you believe God has done for you, what you believe God has told you, what you believe he has prepared you for. You have to now take that belief or philosophy and you've got to build your practice or your behavior around it. In other words, you better start acting like where you're headed. You better start participating in where you're going to, as opposed to acting like and participating based on where you came from. It's okay to give a testimony about where God brought you from, but it's even better to give a testimony about where he's taking you to. And I want you to write this verse down. It's Romans chapter five, verse two, Romans chapter five, verse two, because it's actually the basis for this concept called the next level. And I want to read it for you. You can go back and revisit it, but it's very essential for you to understand that once you get introduction, once you get access, once you gain uh, entrance, once you're welcome to this next level, because in your spirit, soul, and body, you know something that happened. God done did something. You don't see the full manifestation, but you know you ain't nothing like what you used to be. You ain't nowhere you used to be. And you feel as if you're in the process of getting something. You can't quite put your finger on it, but you know any moment now God is about to do it. And I feel it in the spirit right now because you've been waiting and anticipating. You've been hoping, you've been wishing, you've been praying, you've been sacrificing, you've been serving, you've been putting everything you have on the line, trusting that God is going to come through. And I'm here as a prophet of God to declare to you, your God is not a man that he should lie. Neither is he the son of man that he should repent. If he said it, that settles it. He says, so shall my word be that goes forth out of both shot out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. I want you to receive what I'm saying right now. He says, but it will occur accomplish that which I sent it to do. Just in case you don't see it, God's word is working on your behalf. But I want you to notice what he says in Romans chapter five, verse two. I'm reading it from the King James version of the Bible. He says through him, that is through Christ, we also have, there's the key word, access. The amplified version says we have introduction. We have entrance by faith. Faith into this grace, this word grace is translated a state of God's favor. So because Paul is suggesting in the book of Romans chapter five, because you have been justified 
In other words, because you've been cleared of all faults, because you've been cleared of all costs, because God has given you a clean slate, a level playing field, he now gives you access, entrance, and introduction. But notice, according to Romans 5, verse 2, what he gives you access to. Grace, it is a state of God's favor. It is a, not only a place, but it's a space that you go to and you flow from. And I want you to receive that right now because you might be surrounded by some haters. You might be going through some stuff that nobody knows and you think you're silently dying, but the devil is a liar. You shall not die. You shall live and declare the works of the Lord. Why? Because you've gained access, entrance, introduction to your next level. And God has sent me on assignment today to welcome you.